Hi everyone, well I hope you're all doing well and uh, coping with confinement. Personally I've been keeping busy as best as I can and uh, when I can I de-stress with an art project. And this week I've been busy with wood slices. I ordered a bunch of art goodies from Arteza but before I did I made sure that they were still assuring deliveries. And they said that they were and thank goodness because none of my local art shops were even open or delivering and it's been really hard. So here's a quick recap of what you'll need for the following projects. You will need an attachment called a hole saw that goes on the end of a drilling machine with the right size diameter to fit around your glass tea light. And this goes at the end of a drilling bit. You will need some embossing powder, some inks and some embossing stamps, some acrylic paints and some metallic pens, I'm using liquid chrome in this particular case, and I'm using a fine tip number two and a number one. And you will obviously need some wood slices. I'm also going to be using some glass board markers. These are a lot of fun to use and I've never used them before. And you will need some mica powder. And I absolutely love this box of mica powder. There are choices of every colour in there. So these are the slices close up and I got a box of 25 in the medium sized version. So they're made from pine wood and the sizes vary between 8 uh, to 10 centimetres and they're around 1 centimetre thick. And so they're all pre-sanded, they're all polished, it's raw wood. They're smooth and ready to use. And I particularly love the raw edges of bark around the sides. For the first fun project, I'm going to emboss them. And before I do that, I'm going to paint on a layer of black acrylic ink, uh, just a thin layer, so I don't lose the natural wood pattern. I'm just drying it off with a hairdryer, that's a quick way of doing it. I'm using silver embossing powder, so I will be using a silver embossing ink that I dip my rubber stamp onto for good coverage. I try my best to center it on that coaster and push it down gently. I'm going to be using silver embossing powder. Be generous with it, put it all over the top and then scoop it back inside that little pot. I'm using my embossing heat gun. I have tried this with a regular heat gun and it's just too hot. This is specifically made for embossing powder, so I do recommend it. Just be patient with this. It takes a while for it to activate. I'm just swapping over the leaf shape for a little bird, a little tweeting bird, and I'm going to emboss this in exactly the same way. I'm adding a water-based transparent varnish to protect it and you can also resin the top of these wood slices and if you do do this, this step is very important because these slices will drink up resin really quickly. 
So do add a generous layer of varnish before you resin. This is an alternative method whereby I didn't place any acrylic paint down before. I simply stamped out a gold heart and I really like the natural look sometimes. Less is more. And again, you can varnish this or resin it. For the second fun project, I'm going to paint on them with glass board markers. So I've just printed out this lotus shape and the uh, download is available in the description box below. It's a free template that I've created. I'm just simply going to trace around it with a pencil. Retrace the lotus petals all the way around with a pencil. And then I'm using these 18 glass board markers. Some of them are neon and some of them are not neon. They're quite transparent. And I decided to go for a kind of a magenta color today. What's great about these markers is it does come with extra nibs and a little tool so that you can pull out the nib without getting your hands dirty. And that's happened to me before. So this is really practical and there's quite a few in there. Give it a good old shake. Take a piece of paper, make sure it's working, press down a couple of times if necessary, and then trace out and paint on your pattern. Because they're not permanent, you can just take a little bit of water and correct any mistakes. Make sure you rub gently and not too hard. Just clean up any of the little lines, the outlines around the edges. And now I'm using my Le Molito Liquid Chrome. This is a number two tip. And I'm going to outline very gently. I'm not pressing down too hard because that might pull off the markers. So just hover over the top and draw out all of your outlines in the silver. You can even go for gold if you like. And I particularly love these uh, silver pens. This chrome one really is chrome. It's incredibly shiny, almost like aluminium. And now I'm using a number one in the same brand. And I'm going to draw a couple of inside flowers. And you can do as many or as little as you want in all different shapes and sizes, all different patterns, any flowers that you prefer. I've chosen a lotus. And once again, I would varnish these and you can also resin them. So I'm using the same glass board marker in a dark purple and I've just put a little point in the middle to finish it off. For 
with a third fun project I'm creating a wood slice candle holder. I'm using my driller and I've attached a saw attachment to it and then I'm going to be boring a hole into just one piece of wood slice. Now we'll need a little sanding inside And then I take a second piece of wood slice and I place it underneath. Just find a nice sort of shape, a nice composition. And you can add your little tea light into it. That's a glass tea light. And your candle. And you can actually make this three layers tall if you prefer. So that it's completely buried if you have a bigger candle. And for just some fun embellishments, I'm going to be using some gold acrylic paint. I've traced around a circle and I'll be painting just that little window in gold. And again, my little trick with a hairdryer to dry those acrylic paints works a treat. You can place your second layer of wood slice with a hole in it on the top. And there you can see, it just gives it a little pop. You could even emboss the middle. You could maybe add some glitter. In this particular case, I was just trying it out with some crystals. And for the last project, here's just a little sneak preview of this river tray uh, that I've made using quite a few wood slices. Um, I've used mica powder for the bottom layer. I've pre-varnished the wood slices and I added some duo-toned handles to the sides and I will be adding a top coat. So that full tutorial is coming up in the next video, so do look out for it. And all the products used are listed below and Arteza will be having a spring sale on a selection of products and they're doing a giveaway. So check out those details below. I wish you all a great week. I give virtual hugs to everyone and I will see you soon. Bye.